who knows what this is? I haven't seen one of these in absolutely ages. My dad has just arrived and he and Miley are having a bit of a dance in the aisle. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's a beautiful Friday here in Las Vegas and we are on our way to the Goodwill at Rainbow and Cheyenne. And I am feeling really lucky today because two of my very favorite ladies are with me. They're going to say hi in just a minute. This is going to be so much fun. I am here at Goodwill, but I'm not alone. <laughs> my oh. mum and my daughter, Miley, are with us. Hello. Hi, hi everyone. <laughs> what are we gonna look for today? <laughs> uh, Stuff. Stuff. <laughs> Cut. I was not prepared for that. Do it. That's so funny because Mum and Miley don't think I'm going to use that clip, but I did. <laughs> Girls' night shopping. Let's, Let's go, go thrifting. <laughs> Here we are at Goodwill. We have to remember to look at the color of the week. Color of the week is 50% off all tags of that color. I'm looking through the window and it looks like it might be orange. Is it orange? It's orange. Let's go inside and see what they have. Ooh, they've changed things up just a bit here. What have they done? It looks different. Doesn't it look more? Oh, they took the jewelry counter out. They moved the jewelry. I wonder where they put it. I've got my reusable shopping bags and my thrifting Vegas blanket. Miley has a cart for us. Thank you, my love. This week, I was asked how I tell the difference between glass and crystal. All crystal is glass, but not all glass is crystal. Simply put, crystal is glass with minerals like lead added. This makes it heavier than glass. Crystal pieces will sometimes have a telltale sticker on them, but when they don't, there are a few clues to look for. While glass may be cloudy, you can see clearly through crystal and it will produce a prism or rainbow of colors when you hold it up to the light. When you tap crystal with your fingernail or run your finger around the rim of a crystal glass, you will hear a ringing sound. Glass makes a dull thud and no musical tone. My favorite test, as you may guess, is that crystal looks purple or blue under a black light. Here we are in the hard goods section. The shelves look quite full, so let's have a look and see what they have. These are pretty contemporary examples of chinoiserie or Chinese style pieces. They want $5 and $4 a piece. Unfortunately, they only sell for about 12. That doesn't leave me enough for resale profit. So we are going to leave those for somebody else. A little magnetic fridge vase. Let's stand this piece up. Let's see, some canvas art. Here's a little pottery cross embellished with some pieces of turquoise and feathers. It's only a dollar. Unfortunately, the feathers are a bit worn, but they could easily be replaced. So let's pop that into our cart. Some precious moments, some Boyd's bears, dishes and plates. Look at this fellow, he's a little otter. He's Hallmark Little Creations. His name is McKinley, only $3. So let's pop him into the cart as well. Over here is a restaurant where saucer, 
This is a Wallace China piece with its original price sticker. Some restaurant wear can be worth quite a good profit. However, they are long tail items. You can expect to have them sit with you quite some time uh, just until the right buyer comes along. Here's a project piece trinket dish. This is a little David Winter House from the 90s. This is an English piece. Really sweet little cottage. It's only 69 cents. And although it's only about a $12 piece, I can't leave it behind. Some of the larger David Winter pieces, especially the castles, can sell for a really good profit. So do be on the lookout for those. I'm hoping that these feathers won't be too difficult to replace. They shouldn't be, uh, but for less than a dollar, I can't go wrong. Let's keep going on the shelf to see what else we can find. I'm moving everything aside to make sure I don't miss anything. There's a vase there. Poor glass dolphins with the broken fin are still here. Easter baskets. This is also broken again here from last time. Lots of familiar pieces as we work our way down the aisle. I do like this owl plate. It's a barn owl. But again, collector plates do tend to sit in inventory a long time. And I'm really on the lookout that pieces uh, for pieces I can move quite quickly. Lots of dolls down here on the bottom shelf. Uh, one of my subscribers let me know that some of the Native American pieces can sell quite well. So I am going to be looking those up uh, on eBay solds as I find them. Here's a little panda. As I pick it up, I notice that it's not very heavy and it's got quite a few chips on it. So we are going to leave that. This is an interesting piece. It does have some damage, very contemporary looking, quite 80s. We'll leave that. This looks like a Thomas Kincaid design. Just a little candle holder with a wraparound uh, paper on there. Nothing of great quality. This frosted base is a vintage party light piece, missing its shade. Lots and lots of candles as usual. We are still on the lookout for Glassy Baby. Those continue to sell well. Sadly, this piece is very chipped on the petals and leaves. Lots of boxes and baskets up top. This looks like a pin board. It's a football pin board. That's really fun. And these are floral wall art in metal. Lots more candles and holders. Moving into the clear glass here. Here's a brand to definitely be on the lookout for. This is a textured crystal candle holder. It's made by a Scandinavian company, Orafors of Sweden. There's the sticker. And these are also etched on the bottom with the name Orafors. Let me see if I can get it in focus there. You can see it with the black background. Let's take this candle out of it. We'll leave that there on the shelf. Only $3 for this gorgeous piece. Let's pop it in the cart. We'll keep going. We'll keep our eyes open to see if there are any more Aura Force pieces. As we always say, if there's one, there may be more than one. I'm not seeing any others at the moment. This is a little candle uh, lamp shade. More glass and crystal here. Candle holders. This looks quite vintage. 
platters at the bottom, some vintage figurines, nativity sets. Sadly, they are incomplete, and this one's been here a while. This is an elephant. He is plastic, lighter than expected, and does have some damage. We'll leave him. I think somebody painted him silver. This is a super duper heavy crystal bowl. I have quite a few bowls in my booth at the moment, so I am going to leave that one on the shelf. This is a pretty crystal one as well. Some napkin rings. I think this is just a decorative piece. Another little house, but not David Winter. Here is a bunny. He's quite sweet, but sadly it looks like he is missing an eye. That one's okay, but that one's missing, which is just a bit creepy. <laughs> This looks like a project piece, possibly again, part of a nativity. It's so sad when nativity sets get split up. What else do we have? It's a box. Let's see what's in here. Oh, look at these. These sell well for me. These are made of stone and different minerals. They are globes. And they have teeny tiny uh, little names of the countries on them in the box. Let's definitely take that with us. Let's find a spot in the cart. And here are more of those decorative balls. Let's put this lonely one with his two friends. Another candle holder. As I pick it up, it's lightweight, not good quality. We know it's not Orifors. This is lovely. I believe it's wood. A little, another little votive candle holder. Let's pop that. Oh, it's a tea light holder. Very shallow. Tea lights are shallow. Vol votive candles are taller. I do like the flowers on that. Lovely colors. The brown with the green and the white flowers. 69 cents. We will take that with us. Here is a little shell. Unfortunately, quite broken on the points there. Let's leave that. More plates and platters and stands. Looks like these pieces have migrated from the kitcheny bits. Here's a snowman. It's quite interesting, but he has a massive uh, crack across his front, sadly. Sculptures. This is weird and wonderful. $10 angel wing heart. This looks like a home goods item. Home goods or Ross or Marshalls. Oh, here is a Native American doll in the box with original tag I am going to definitely have to look this one up on eBay it's an eight dollar price tag but he looks to be in new condition we are moving into the seasonal shelf here this fellow is interesting. He is left in $3, but unfortunately he's missing his fishing pole. Uh, so we will have to leave him on the shelf. This loan is supposed to be Noel and I must fix it. There we go. Super fun if you have a need for four stocking holders. Here's a pumpkin with an S on it. Perfect if your last name begins with an S or your first name. Vases, another shell here. Again, super broken. Let's pop it with the other one. It would be fine if you were displaying shells in a basket with other shells and you could pop the broken bits out of sight. I think this is an Avon piece.
more bears. This one is a limited edition. It has a number on it. Signs and plaques. More stocking holders. This is a snowman, sadly, missing his carrot nose. It's broken off. This looks a bit like Mackenzie Childs, but I think it's just a copy of her style. Fabric pumpkin. I think this is mass produced. Not very good quality. The stem is just plastic, so I'm going to leave that. I have several of these sweet little floral plaques at my booth. This one's only $2. Oh, look at this back here. This is really interesting. It's a piece of artwork, keys all joined together. It does have a bit of rust on one side, but uh, for $5, I think this is a really good find. It's ever so fun. I don't think I've ever found anything like that before. I don't think they're real keys. They're just cut for the cores to make a ball like this. But it's a very unique, a great conversation piece. So I'm going to put that into the cart. Some more wall decor, a very large bird. Let's have a look at him. Ooh, he's not the quality I was hoping for, really lightweight. It's a candle wall sconce. This is a vintage serving tray for appetizers, I think. Let's carry on into the seasonal. Here is Tigger with a snail. I think the snail originally had a clock face in his shell. Sadly, that is missing. I'm having a dig back here to see if there's anything interesting. There's some praying hands. What's this? Oh, I think this is a bunny, sort of a bunny, tall bunny we've seen before. Little flower pot. Wreaths, bits of Christmas here, Easter eggs. It's a tall canister. Again, very lightweight, not marked. It's sad these lightweight pieces chip ever so easily. Another inexpensive pumpkin. Quality is lacking. Some little wall mirrors here, more Easter eggs. Christmas tins. Oh, there's a third little wall mirror on top of the wreath box. Let's pop that up here with its friends. Now there are three. On the other side of this aisle is the plaques and frames, wood and baskets, all things brown. Happy fall, y'all. That's sweet. Sweet little hanging sign. All sorts of signs as usual. That is broken, unfortunately. Pictures. Oh, what are these here? Let's have a look. Two little matching. Are these coasters or frames? I think they might be coasters just made to look old and sadly that back one there has a massive crack in it so we'll leave those let's see as a part of a ninja food processor I think baskets trays what's this thought that might be wood but I think it's just a modern resin piece to hang on the wall reproduction of a possibly Peruvian or Mexican pottery Let's see the green back here it is just plastic though that had me excited for a split second this toilet seat is still here I'm keeping a wide perimeter around that. 
<laughs> so, um, shelves there. Oh, those wine racks. Yeah, they're wine racks. Magazine racks, a jewelry box. This is just made to look old again in the old fashioned style. If you can find actual original old pieces like this, they do bring in some money, especially if they're handmade. This little angel girl we've seen before, missing her clapper. More signs and shelving units. Let's see, some artwork, don't be discouraged if you think there's nothing, I know I pick that up every time, just persevere and go through every shelf, you just never know what you're going to find. Sometimes you'll find nothing, other times a treasure will appear and you'll be so glad you looked at that shelf. Boxes, baskets, trash cans and bird feeders. These poor little ducks are still here. They're a bit broken and battered. They could have done with some uh, more stable legs, I think. Well, it doesn't look like we're going to have much luck in the brown section today. But you know me, I always have to have a look. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Who knows what this is? I haven't seen one of these in absolutely ages. It's missing its rubber tube and bulb, but this is a vintage blown glass perfume atomizer. I absolutely love the iridescent color. It's only $3 and maybe we can find the missing part somewhere in the store. Here we are in the vases, planters and florals and I have found a fun piece. This is a Japanese bento box for snacks. It's $2. It's got sleepy owls on the top. The brand is Kotobuki. I'm not sure these little bottles are original to the piece, but let's close it up. I'll pop it in the cart and I will show you exactly how it's used during my haul at the end of the video. Let's see what else we can find here. Lots of florist vases. There's a little pumpkin here. I think this is for an air plant, but it does have a big chip on the side. Lots of clear, there's a carafe there, Some more planters. Oh, look at this piece. This is gorgeous. This looks like artisan glass. This is lovely. It's got some applied swirls to it. The maker is Viz Glass. And I want to say that these can fetch a fair profit. Just checking it over for any damage. I don't see any chips, cracks or breaks. So let's carefully get that into our cart. Also want to have a look at this piece. Oh, I thought this was salt glaze pottery again. I this happens to me quite frequently. I think it's salt glaze, but it's just an inexpensive um, ceramic piece. Let's keep going. It's a little vase. I thought it was a travel tumbler to start with. Planters. Let's see. Some melamine bowls. These look a bit like Spanish recycled glass, but I don't know if you can see at the top, they're very uneven. This one is quite thin. The other one is thick at the top. 
they don't really match and for that reason I am going to leave those on the shelf little heart sculpture here it's very sparkly this is interesting it's a vase has some transferware flowers on it it's very crazed four dollars I think it is just made to look old but I am going to pop that into the cart and have a think about it because I do quite like the look of it let's keep going up top another massive uh, recycled glass looking piece this is a woven metal basket this one isn't very good quality some of them are nice and thick uh, that one is cheaply made contemporary planters I recently discovered just how expensive silk plants and florals can be at retail stores. So if you have a need for such items or you're interested in reselling those, do check your local thrift stores and Goodwill for silk plants, uh, flowers and arrangements because you can often thrift them for a song. We are making our way into the metal section now. This is always challenging for me. It's really hard to make sure I see everything. Look at this. This looks like a Liberty Bell. These are often pencil sharpeners, but I think this one is a vintage bank. It's made in the USA. It's a promotional piece, only 99 cents. So let's absolutely grab that. I think I was saying you have to really look carefully in the metal section because things sort of mesh together before your eyes and you can easily miss things. This, I thought this might have been a vintage uh, glass caddy, but I think it is a candle holder. All sorts of holders and racks for coffee pods, paper towels, candles and towels, sconces, and hangers. You can really get creative with some of these pieces if you have blank walls. Here is a fireplace guard. These also very, very expensive. Letter racks, dish racks, looking ever so carefully, always looking for vintage chip and dip little hanger pieces, those that sell ever so well on eBay, the little piece that attaches to the chip bowl to suspend the dip bowl above it. Oh, look at these. These are wrought iron trivets. Pennsylvania State Farm Show 1997. That's a good one. And this is a rooster. Always excellent subject matter. Great find on both accounts. $4. Let's pop those carefully into the cart. We'll go down the side here. Being careful not to squash anything. There we go. I'm not really sure what that is. This end part has all the miscellaneous bits here. Miscellaneous metals, colored metals and tins. This is another trivet, not ever so old that one. Just made to look old. Tins, more racks. A little seal figurine here, 99 cents. Again, like that uh, panda, not very good quality and a bit chipped. So we're going to leave that. This is, oh, this is a good find. This is one of those wind spinners. Cowboy and a horse, great subject matter. Let's grab that. I think the tag says $3. Chuck 
wagon soda that's a vintage advertising piece i don't think those go for very much we are in the plates bowls and dishes aisle i think this is a plug-in light up pedestal let's see little toothbrush toothpaste cup some hinges here these are interesting. I don't think they are as old as I would hope. Um, not vintage brass, so I'm going to leave them. These are Churchill saucers. Not ever such a quick sale without the cups, so I'm going to leave those. There's something under there that looks interesting, so I'm going to unstack that in a minute. But first, this is the matching basket weave woven traditions longer burger pottery trivet uh, to match the bakers that we found in the last video so that will go straight in the cart let's unstack this pile oh it's a file folder i couldn't figure out what that was let's put this back We'll keep going. At the bottom of this stack, there's a black and gold edged piece. Quite interesting because it's octagonal. Eight sides, you don't often see that. It's a Christopher Stewart. Their piece is probably only about a $15 item. And you know me, shipping plates and platters isn't my favorite. So I am going to restack the pile and leave it for somebody else. I found another bolo to show you, Franciscan ware. This one has a chip on it, but Desert Rose and their apple pattern. I'll show you the mark here. There it is, made in the USA. These can sell quite well. Uh, if you enjoy selling plates and dishes, more apples down here. They are stacked along with the Desert Rose pattern. Quite odd numbers. Um, but good if somebody is looking for replacement pieces. Let's just take a peek to see if they have any other uh, Desert Rose pieces because the serving items, the bowls and platters do sell quite well. Uh, 40 to $50 range on those. Let's see, what's this? just a contemporary little piece looked a bit like fiesta wear what else do we have all sorts of styles colors from every decade this is a pretty bowl this is flash painted though and the color is wearing off unfortunately Know if you can see no more Franciscan wear unfortunately a lot of plastic wear seems to have migrated over from the other side <laughs> This piece was here the last time we thrifted. I caught it as I was editing my video. And the funny thing about this is my grandparents had a similar set of glasses when I was a little girl. It's Pyrex wear by Corning. And uh, because it brings back fond memories, I have to pop it in the cart and check all the shelves to see if there are any other of these in the set. I know that they came in the yellow I have and I believe orange and red uh, made up the set. There possibly was a fourth color but I only remember that my grandparents had um, three. The yellow, orange and red. Perhaps I'll check with my mum and see if she remembers if there was a fourth color. My dad has just arrived and he and Miley are having a bit of a dance in the aisle. It's almost closing time and there's nobody else here. 
Otherwise, Miley would be way too embarrassed to dance with Grandpa. We are doing our final go round of the store and I have discovered this lovely little Dutch Delft Blue girl for $2. Let's pop her in the cart. We are here in the kitcheny bits aisle with my mum having a look. The shelves are a little bit empty today. They must be getting ready to restock. There's a teak wood topped canister there. Sadly, only about $12 to $15 on that. Here is a nice lipped, quite heavy water jug. I do like the flowers on that. Do you have quite a few of these in my inventory? So I'm going to leave that on the shelf. A chip bowl, some serving bowls here. All sorts of glass bowls, nesting bowls. Let's see if there's anything we can't live without here. Look at this. Oh goodness, this is an old piece. Beautiful frosted glass with some gold embellishment on the top. Sadly, it is wearing off, but for the age of this piece, that is to be expected. It's $9.99, but I think this is close to 100 years old. So this is definitely going into the cart. Make sure we find somewhere safe. I'm going to have to move some things around. It looks like mum has found something amazing. That's gorgeous, mum. I think it is a garlic keeper with these holes in it. And I do believe that these have a garlic grater underneath the lid. It is Spanish, made in Spain. The colors are fantastic. So Mediterranean. I absolutely love this piece. Just super. And it's a great size for the counter. Well done. What a good find. We have made our way through the small appliances into the little frames here to see if anything jumps out at us. Lots of contemporary pieces. All sorts of picture frames. Let's see. Next is the large art. Mum is looking at a piece hanging there, but it looks like it has a bit of damage, maybe some tape. Down here is a Native American piece, but sadly, I think it is just a print, um, not signed. So we are going to leave that uh, and move on. Looking for any vintage frames, nice quality, or old mirrors. Doesn't look like we are going to be lucky today. Mum is going to show us what this is. <laughs> this piece keeps haunting us. Uh, that old snowy vacation collage is back. These are quite pretty for a bathroom. This is extremely 80s and huge. <laughs> if you would like to purchase an item you see in my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item and the price I mention. If it's available, I will send you an emailed invoice. Here on my table is everything I found at Goodwill. First, I was excited to see the matching trivet to the bakers we found in the last video. This is Longerberger pottery made in the USA. It's the blue traditions pattern. I paid $3 for it. 
and I am going to ask $15. Next we have this amazing sculptural key ball. They're not actually real keys, they look to be sort of blanks as you can see. They don't have any sort of writing or any uh, markings on them. There is some damage to the bottom. It looks like they were either sitting in water or um, facing the hot Vegas sun. So do bear in mind there's a little bit of damage. I actually think it adds to the piece. It gives it a sort of a vintage appeal. I paid five dollars for this piece and given the damage I am going to ask thirty dollars. Next we have this lovely little otter. He is made of resin. He is a hallmark piece, Little Creations, 1994. His name is McKinley. I paid $3 for him and I am going to ask $20. At the back here is our amazing semi-precious stone globe. It appears to be inlaid with all sorts of different stones. As you can see, each country or each continent is a different stone. There is a little bit of damage I didn't notice in the store. It appears that somebody dropped this piece. I don't know if you can see just there is a split right at the bottom. But when it is displayed like so it's not noticeable i paid three dollars for it and given the damage i am going to ask twenty dollars this is a lovely delft blue piece she's a little milkmaid i think she is supposed to have little milk pails hanging from her um, cross shoulder um, handle there but she has a windmill on her dress. There's the inside of her. I paid $2 for her. I am going to ask $15. This really brings back memories. It's not the exact same cup my grandparents had, but it's very similar. The glass is inserted into the plastic base. It's Pyrex Ware by Corning dishwasher safe, top rack dishwasher safe, pre-microwave days. Um, I'm not sure what I paid for this. I'm assuming under a couple of dollars and uh, I am going to ask $15. This is a beautiful uh, piece of Scandinavian glass. It's actually crystal super heavy. It's Orifors of Sweden. There is the sticker. As I showed you in the store, it's also etched just there. It says Orifors etched into the base. I paid $3 on this lovely votive holder. I am going to ask 20 I remember these from my childhood. Absolutely lovely little cottages. The detail in this is incredible. Look at the windows and the climbing, um, I think they're climbing roses on the cottage. This is a signed piece. It's David Winter. I think this says 1982, so it's an early one. There's the bottom. I paid 69 cents on this lovely cottage and I am going to ask $18. I love this piece. It's really artsy from the colors to the swirls in the green at the bottom. Just looks like flowers are growing, possibly out of the water. It just has a really zen feel to it. Very relaxing. The flowers are in relief that they're, they're painted. Just really pretty, very simple, but pretty. 99 cents on this. I am going to ask 
These two trivets were a great find right in the metal section. If you don't check the metal section for anything else, check it for cast iron trivets. Just look at this rooster. His colors are fantastic. Really nice old piece. Heavy, heavy. Uh, I paid $4 for this one and I believe $4 on the other one, which is the 81st Pennsylvania State Farm Show, 1997. It has some grapes and grape leaves on it and an ear of corn on the handle. It's just fantastic. And I think the whole thing is supposed to be uh, some sort of tractor part, a cog or something like that. Somebody correct me in the comments, please. Um, and it has some little info on the bottom about uh, Northeast is one of the first grape. What's it say? What's it say? Areas in Erie County established about 1810. It's a major wine and grape uh, products producer in the state. Third edition one of 500. So I am planning to ask 25 a piece on these lovely cast iron trivets. Next we have our Liberty Bell. You don't often see banks. I often see pencil sharpeners, but I think this is an older piece. Just look at the bottom. It says Financial Promotion Company, PO Box 4025 Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, 17111 then it says made in the usa and the bell sort of rings liberty bell bicentennial 1976 here and you pop your coins in there i think you have to retrieve them with this uh little screw but i paid i think i paid two dollar 99 cents just one dollar for it and I am going to ask $18. Back here, we have this lovely atomizer. I am so sad I didn't find the, um, the pipe and bulb f to make it work, but it's still a gorgeous piece, iridescent glass here. I paid $3 on that, and uh, without the um, tube and bulb I am going to ask $20. Back here is a gorgeous piece of art glass. This is Viz glass and uh, I found some quite pricey comps online anywhere from about 50 up over $100. This is a lovely red bowl. It has applied embellishments including some sort of Mille Fiere uh, pieces there. It's just lovely, really nice. I think it would be beautiful on a pedestal with a light shining up into it. I paid four dollars for it. I am going to ask fifty dollars. Mum found this piece. It's a fabulous garlic keeper and the best thing about it, wait for it, is this it actually has a garlic grater in the lid isn't that amazing so fun so you pop all your cloves in there keep them nice and dry and fresh and when you're ready to use it you can peel them away and actually use this as a little grater and it has a built-in bowl very very nicely thought out i love the great of uh, the uh, olive design made in spain Ceramica Española, handmade and hand-painted. I paid uh, $4 for it, and I am going to ask $35. Over here, we have this amazing Native American doll. He is Tyree, Dolls of the World. Tyree, excuse me. The brand is Geppetto. And I found comps on this guy uh, from about $25 to $45. I paid $8.
This is one of my favorite finds. This is a bento box for snacks. On the top, it has owls, sleepy little owls. You're going to untop the top and inside is a little sealed box with a snap-on lid, sort of like Tupperware. And I don't know if these came with it. I don't think so, but they're little uh, sauce bottles in the shape of pigs and fish, possibly for mayonnaise or mustard, fish sauce, soy sauce, whatever you like. But what you do is pop your snacks in here, snacks, sandwich, fruit, whatever you like. You can put the lid on. And then this little ridge allows it to sit on top of here and then you can close it up or if you want extra security you can actually flip it over and it sits down in there flush like that really fun piece I paid two dollars I'm going to ask twenty dollars next we have this lovely wind spinner what you do after you receive it is hang it up by this little hole here on a piece of um, either string or they do sell these twizzle hooks that allow items like this to sprint, spin freely and not get tangled, almost like a swivel, um, a swivel when you are fishing. What you're going to do is bend out all the layers of this piece so they... Uh, form a, a sphere, a ball, and then it spins and catches in the wind and turns around. In the center is, uh, I thought it was a cowboy, but it's actually a cowgirl on a horse. There she is. I paid, oh goodness, what did I pay? It looks like $4 on this, and I am going to ask $25. Last but not least, a beautiful picture. Now, I honestly think this is antique. It's a gorgeous piece, and it does have a pontal at the bottom, which tells me it was handmade. It does appear to have been molded to some extent by the pattern, and it does have mold lines. The top is gold, appears to be have been painted and there is some wear to it. I just love this vintage handle and the design which is frosted. I paid ten dollars for it. I'm still doing a little bit of research but uh, I believe this uh, would be valued up and around a hundred dollars. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my trip with my parents and Miley to Goodwill. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please send me an email, thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. Please don't be shy. I absolutely, the prices I mentioned are suggested. I absolutely entertain offers. If yours is the highest offer or the only offer I receive, the item will be yours. Please stay tuned for my usual fun footage of Bear, Rio, and the cats. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Where'd it go, Bear? Where'd it go? Come on, Bear. Let's go.
Kill me. More zoomies. Into the creek. You gonna show her how, Bear? Rio. Riri! Help us! Rio, what are you doing? Come, Come on. on! Rio! <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. The dogs are tired. Oh, Rio's perked up. She was pooped out. There she. Are you tired? So this would be good. We'll be good for about a three-hour nap, I reckon. What are you doing? I'm talking to Ziggy. Yeah. Poor Ray. Okay.